Good morning, everyone. It is May 31st, 2022, and it's my niece Abby's birthday. And so I am making her a, a birthday cake. She requested Zootopia. Um, she did send me an idea and I, it's just too complicated. So I searched Pinterest. I came up with several ideas. I sketched out several ideas. I ordered these figures off of Amazon that I'm gonna use to decorate the cake. Um, I actually don't like using non-edible items for the cake, but for this one, I'm making an exception because there just isn't a lot of ideas for Zootopia, not a lot of stuff out there. That movie's been out for a while, not the most popular movie. It's actually coming back because last time, like. Abby went to Disney last month and she said there was a lot of Zootopia merchandise. So for whatever reason, it's becoming popular again. She wants a cake. Um, she likes yellow. So first things first, it is early. Her party's not till six. And so I need to get these cakes baked so they can cool down. You never want to decorate a cake um, hot. And then um, I got a bunch of fondant icing. Luckily, Hobby Lobby had a nice sell, $8.99. These are usually like $12. And I found um, these are not edible, but they are cute toppers that say $15. Oh, and speaking of fondant, um, I wanted a whole bunch of these little packages. This is all I could find. So I'm not, so I definitely have to change my idea because I had a list of like 15 colors that I wanted. Yes, you can buy white fondant and color it with dye. I just don't like the look of that. So I went to three different stores before I found this. I went to Michael's, I went to Party, whatever, Party Store, Party City. And I finally, and they all had fondant, but not a lot. Like their stock was like severely depleted. Like shortages are real. <laughs> it definitely hit the cake baking market. Um, so I had to make do with what I could find. So it's not going to be exactly what I want because there just isn't a lot of choices out there. Last year, I remember there was tons of little boxes of different collars. And anyway, I wasn't happy. I was really upset yesterday. Um, that's what I get for waiting till the last minute. And that's what I get for, um, and I know all about these shortages. So why it didn't rack my brain that th this would also be an issue. It's not just eggs and chicken. It's everything. Um, so I still think it's going to turn out great. Um, some of this stuff was 50% off, so I bought it even though I might not use it. I'm definitely decorating it with leaves. I'm going to have an outdoor jungle theme. So I got fondant pressers, um, flowers, and then uh, more flowers. I got this because if you've watched the movie, I have not. But I, got, I looked at a lot of pictures. There's like a donut scene, and so I'm going to make a donut covered with that. And then this is an icing smoother. And I don't know if I'm gonna use these on the cake. This is a press to make it look like brick. I might, cause you know, Zootopia is a city, so I might make some buildings. Or I got this press where it makes it look like bark. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna use these two things, but I bought them just in case. For sure, um, I'm going to do leaves and stuff. I don't know, It's I've got like several ideas and I have not, I've not pinpointed just one yet. I'm really going to the last minute here. Might, might regret that, but this is this is what happens when you wait till the last minute. Totally my fault, um, because she gave me the idea a month and a half ago. It's just life got busy. I've been worrying about other things, and now I gotta worry about this cake. All right, I got my um, butter cream icing in the KitchenAid whipping right now, and I just wanted to show you like these are what the cakes look like. So they're all like raise a little above they're not perfectly flat sometimes I don't worry about it but sometimes I do so just to show you this was the top of the cake so I just take a bread knife and just cut it across so as you can see it's flatter um, and you can buy like a special tool to cut your cake flat but honestly as long as you have a bread knife that's all you need and I am going to do three layers. I usually just do a two layer cake, but I want this a little taller than normal. I'm just trying something different. So I'm going to do three layers. I use the same buttercream icing recipe. As you can see, it's well loved. So pretty simple. Um, I do have a video showing how to make buttercream icing. As you can see, it's a lot of butter, a lot of shortening, but it's really good. All right, the buttercream icing is ready. I'm leaving it as vanilla because that is what Abby likes and it's gonna be covered with fondant. So vanilla is perfectly fine. 
don't need to color it at all. So in between each layer, I do a layer of icing. All right, I got my three layers and I don't know that it needs support, but I put support in it anyway, anytime I do more than two layers. So these are just like plastic tubes that I got at, you know, Michael's at the cake department a couple cakes ago. And so I'm just gonna put two, like one here and one here, and they are easy to cut. Just a knife is all you need. Um, because also I want to do support because I'm putting a lot of fondant on it and fondant is pretty heavy So just to be on the safe side, but you just have to remember to tell whoever is cutting the cake There's two supports <laughs> in the cake <laughs> I got the caked ice it doesn't have to be perfect because it's gonna be covered with fondant um, but I will push that to the side and I did buy like an icing smoothing tool it was 50% off, so it ended up costing me five bucks. Like, you use this to smooth the icing. Don't buy it. It's not necessary. Butter knife works just as well. Um, but I only paid five bucks for it, so no big loss. All right, so I took one whole box of yellow and rolled it on. My husband helped me roll it out flat. As you can see, it's not perfect. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm covering it with other stuff because it didn't reach all the way to the edge close and then um i have one tear right here but i'm gonna cover it with leaves and stuff overall i st you know this is only my second attempt for not taking any classes i think it looks pretty darn good so i'm gonna put this in the fridge to harden up just a little while i row roll out um roll out the uh leaves and all kinds of stuff i'm gonna make out of fondant i don't know I hope that doesn't rip more. I gotta get decorating. All right, here's what I got so far. So I don't know any of the characters' names except for Judy. That's the only one I remember. <laughs> so I um, got a donut and I got one of the bad guys. I made like little brick buildings. And then here is the fox. And then here's Judy. I had little stars to represent her sheriff's badge. And then here's her mom and dad, a little carrot patch, more city block, a couple characters. I'm pretty sure he's a villain, another villain. And then, so I just pressed out flowers. And so the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in a fridge for a little bit so all the icing firms up. And then um, this is the front of the cake. And so I have four characters left, the mayor, I think this is like the receptionist and then the sh uh, sheriff and then the mayor's assistant who I think spoiler alert is actually the bad guy <laughs> so those four will be right here um, with the 15 and I'll put that in the cake right before I leave to make sure that looks good so um, this is like a compliment complication complication oh my god whatever the word is this is a combination of like four or five pictures I got off of Pinterest. Um, so not quite what I wanted, but I mentioned earlier I had trouble finding fondant. And so, but I'm actually happy, really, really happy with how it turned out. And this might be the flattest cake I've ever made. So this is three layers and I did end up using the brick press and yeah. Um, I wish these were edible, but I am not that good at sculpting. <laughs> so the donut is my only ability to sculpt. I was able to make a donut and this is chocolate fondant, um, fudge flavored. And the rest of the fondant is vanilla flavored. So yeah, overall I'm happy. Um, I hope Abby likes it. I know it's not quite the picture she sent me, but I think I did pretty darn good. getting ready to go to Holly's for Abby's party. Um, I decided to wait to put the topper once we get to Holly's. So I'll add that at Holly's. And then I brought the extra icing in case anything falls off. And even though it's three layers, it still fits within my cake um, carrier, whatever you call it. The cake made it 
um, I did move the two most popular characters to the top of the cake. Kind of wanted to leave her over there. Instead, I put the sheriff. I just think it makes more sense since those are the two main characters. And this looks so good. It's not edible, but it looks like it could totally be edible. I bet I could have made that myself. So shoot your reference because I had tons of these little candies left. <laughs> Glue art. <laughs> Are you ready? Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Abby. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Sweet. Oh, no, no wishes for you. Girl, give me a paper plate. I gotta get this wax out of here.